nuclear energy and uh, nuclear bomb are the biggest threat in the world today. Thomas Kachiri, the son of Kerala, a union leader, an anti-nuclear activist and professional advocate for the rights of small-scale fishers, passed away just months before the 6th WFFP General Assembly. The fifth child of Abashan and Aliyama Kachiri grew up in an area where poor fisherfolk struggled to eke out a living. After completing schooling, he graduated with a law and science degree and was ordained a priest in 1971. He started working with small-scale fishes in the 1970s. When our government decided to open up our seas for the corporate fishing giants, and we had to fight a long sustained battle for about five years to get rid of those demons. The entire fishing community in the country came together and demonstrated their might and determination by three consecutive fishery strikes in the country, bringing the entire sector into a halt. We blockaded the commercial ports, railroads, harbors. Our leaders, like Thomas Kocheri, went on hunger strike more than once. And finally, and probably, as a first case, we succeeded to rescind the government policy, reverse the government policy of opening up the seas. He mobilized local villages from Sri Lanka, Hong Kong, and other countries targeting nuclear plants, including the controversial Kudan Kulam nuclear plant in Tamil Nadu. In 1987, he was elected president of the National Fish Workers Forum, NFF, of India. Where the small fishing communities should be able to manage the inshore waters and also even deeper waters. They should be able to manage and they should own the sea and they should own the crafts and gears and uh, all these multinational companies and the greedy profiteering should be kept out if you want to really sustain the fisheries and uh, if you want a brighter future. Organizing fish workers on a global scale, he was a key driver in the launch of the World Forum of Fisher People, the WFFP, in 1997. He was awarded with the Earth Trustee title in 1998 by the United Nations and in 1999 he received the Sophie Prize from the Sophie Foundation in Sweden for his contribution to the struggle of the poor. Let me explain what do I mean, what do I mean by globalization. Globalization is a process that has ensured a free movement of capital and the market determines everything. This market has no interest whatsoever of the basic needs of the majority of the people in the world. This market has only one value, that is profit. From Njengo to the Kanyakumari March, from Mumbai to Vishakapatanam, to Seattle to the Occupation Movement, his words and actions shook the powerful. In a small village, near Thiru Vanan Tapuram, where elites were exploiting the fisherfolk, 
Thomas taught the fishers to read and write as a buffer against the exploitation. He told workers in Sri Lanka in 2009, we represent the workers' interests. We have only one way to survive, and it is to fight as trade unions, unionizing all the working class together. Innumerable fasts and 16 stints in jail, Thomas Kochery succumbed to his fifth heart attack. Throughout his life of struggle and service, he showed no signs of slowing down. He was a true revolutionary, with an unrelenting spirit, with which he led struggles for justice that inspired a generation. Lal Salam, Comrade Tom.